After six months of looking for a job, the hole I was digging in my pocket just kept getting bigger. I made a decision for my family. I went and applied at the state for help. Just getting out of my car in the parking lot was difficult, never mind walking into the building. A woman walked out from behind the big locked gray door and called my name. I got up and walked over to her. As she stood there looking at me holding a folder with my name on it, I realized that she wasn't looking at me. She was looking through me. The only me she saw was in her hand, that folder with my number on it. People I don't know see this number along with the others. They just see what's put on paper and make decisions based on it. I don't usually have control over these decisions, but they always affect me in one way or another. Like when they took away the yearly allotment we could use for car repairs, registration, and inspection. I had to do without my car for four months because I couldn't afford the repairs to pass inspection. But I still had to complete all my required responsibilities even though I was 12 miles away from school. There are some decisions in our life that are made without our family being considered. They're made from Washington or state government or local government. And that's why I vote, so I have a say in who is making those decisions for me. I want to know that they see my face and the many faces of the others like me. Remember that feeling of being a number that doesn't count. Do you want to be somebody who doesn't matter by not voting? Or do you want to make your own decisions for yourself by voting and being that one number who does count? What are you going to do?